hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a kind of my wash routine but I'm also going to be using some new products on my hair so I thought to go ahead and record this for you guys because it's been a little minute since I showed you guys my real hair and everything that's going on yes I look really crazy I just unbraided or unplaited my hair because usually under my wigs my hair is in plaits um just regular plaits because I don't know how to braid and so that's just the easiest way for me to get my hair really flat because as you can see there's a ton of hair so I'm just going to be using some of the hair infinity products today to test out all my hair to see how I like them to see what happens and I'm going to probably like once every couple of weeks I'm gonna try to figure it out um so I can update you guys on what's going on with the product did I break out did it work or something like that so we can see um, how the product works on me, I'm pretty sure you guys already know about their products, but I just got some, so, and some of these products are very new to me because I didn't even know they had this stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this video for you guys, and if you want to watch it, just keep watching. Okay, so you guys know that I do some of my hair journey things on my channel, and so one of the last things I did on my channel that you guys was actually able to see my real hair um, or just me talking about my natural hair was I'm, I'm looking at my channel now which is which was my edges update part two that was a year ago and I know I did the DIY ponytail which you guys saw my hair but I didn't really talk about my natural hair since then and since those two videos by the way um, the part one and part two but um, this is how long my hair is. It's pretty long. It's gotten pretty long. I don't do anything um, to my hair. I just shampoo, condition, then deep condition, oils, detangle, plaits. I do not really play with my natural hair. So the first thing I'm going to do is detangle my hair. My hair routine is probably not much different than those old videos. I kind of just section the hair off. And I have these, uh, I have these handy clips, and I kind of just clip it on. Come on, clip it around or whatever. Just kind of get it out the way. And sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I wet my hair, sometimes I don't. If I don't wet my hair, it just hurts a lot more, and there's a lot more breakage. But there's going to be a ton of shedding because I don't comb my hair every day. So you have to realize that that hair that just sits in my head because I don't comb it for like a month, it's going to be there. So I'm going to wet it today because my hair is really hard to detangle today and my hair is going to shrink up. So I'm going to try to fast forward through this part as fast as possible. This is just water. There was detangler in there, but I ran out. So I just use that as water. done as you can see the shrinkage has already started to happen because I sprayed my hair with water so it has already started to shrink but it still looks very very full and I'm really surprised my hair is never full so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this side and then I can go ahead and get ready to shampoo it okay guys so I finally finished um, pre detangling my hair and this is how much hair came out it looks like a lot but you have to realize that my hair hasn't been combed for like over a month and as you can see, the shrinkage has already started because I sprayed just a little bit of water while detangling my hair. It looks like an afro. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair. You're probably wondering why I detangled first. And that's because since my hair hasn't been combed for like a month, if I wash my shampoo, just straight shampoo and condition my hair, it will mat up. Like that's what kind of hair I have. And I've done that before where I just said, oh, I'll detangle it once my conditioner is in there. And my hair got matted up. And it was really, really hard to detangle. It took me about three hours just to detangle my hair from that. And I do not want to go through that again. So I'd rather go through the hard process now and then 
do it again later. So my shampoo, I'm gonna use my black soap shampoo that I made. Super easy, it's just black soap used with water to melt the black soap and I put some oils in there. If you guys wanna see a DIY on how I made it, let me know. If not, there's other people who make it on YouTube so I don't have to go through the trouble of making it. But that's what I'm gonna to use to wash my hair. Once my hair is washed, then we'll come back for the next step. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom and wash my hair first and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so my hair is washed um, with the shampoo. As you can see, it shrunk. Next what I'm gonna do is do the um, conditioner which is the hair infinity advanced hair care balanced moisture conditioner so I didn't know they had hair care products I only knew they only had the hair infinity pills which I also have a bottle of these I took these in the past um, before when I first um, went natural and my hair grew really nicely I did break out when I first started using those and I wound up having to switch from two pills to one pill a day because it was just too strong for me. So my face kind of broke out a little bit. So I'm hoping the same thing won't happen. And I had just had Zoe. So I just opened it. For some reason, the pump is not working. So I just took it off and I'm just going to put it in my hand. Oh my God, it smells really, really good. I'm excited about this. So with this guy... You apply it to wet hair, comb through, and leave for five minutes, five to ten minutes. So I'm just gonna apply it and then just comb it through my hair um, for five to ten minutes. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle my hair. Um, like I did earlier, while this conditioner sits this way, I don't have to really detangle once I wash everything out. So now that both sides are detangled, I'm going to go ahead and wash this out. Um, of my hair um, I just have them section off still wash it off my hair and then we'll come back and do the next step okay so the hair is rinsed out again we have to rinse it out one more time after this um okay I loved how it smelled I love how my curls kind of felt while the conditioner was in there so let's see how it feels now that it's not so my hair feels pretty decent doesn't feel dry or anything um the curls feel nice, you know, still some shrinkage, crazy. So for a deep conditioner, I'm going to use the Strengthening um, Mask from Hair Infinity. And it says basically to, after shampooing with Hair Infinity Shampoo, which I don't have, um, comb through, cover, apply this comb through and cover with a shower cap for 15 minutes. Oh my God, this smells just as good as the other product. The consistency feels similar. This one feels a little bit thicker. So let's see. Yeah, this one smells, the smell on this one is a lot stronger than the other one. So if you're sensitive to like fragrances, this may not be the product that is for you, but I really enjoy it. I love stuff that smells pretty nice for my hair, as long as it's not gonna like do anything to my hair. So I'm just going to apply this in. With this, I'm going to take my own little bottle of oils. I'm actually going to add some of this, a lot of it, to my hair as this sits for extra moisturizing. Because I'm not going to be applying this at the end like I normally do. So I want to go ahead and make sure that my hair and my scalp kind of get some. Because when I rinse it out, it'll just rinse out the excess oil. I don't have a shower cap. So we're going to just use a good old plastic bag and I'm going to put it, oh my gosh, my hair barely fits in a sprouts bag and I'm going to bring it to the front trying to tuck all my little hair in there, go in there and come on, this bag is really small. I'm going to take a hair tie and then I'm just going to tie the ends and hopefully this acts as a shower cap because I don't have a shower cap. 
So just tie the little ends here. So I'm gonna let this brew for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna rinse it out and then I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, we've, <laughs> alrighty guys, so we've come down to the final steps. Thank God it's been too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this towel off of my hair. Oh, it feels so good to be done washing. It's really soft. I mean, it feels very moisturized and I did put some oil in there um, because I just wanted to go ahead and add a bit of more, but you can see my curls are pretty defined. They're really cute. Yeah, the curls look pretty defined. Feels good. Here's the shrinkage I was talking about where my hair is just really, really shrunken down. So the next one I'm going to use is the Hair Infinity Nourishing Bit Botanical Oil. Um, so this is, you're supposed to just apply it to wet or dry hair as needed. Um, I'm guessing it's just supposed to help your hair grow, basically. So I'm just going to take it on a dropper and I'm just going to uh, apply it to the scalp. Don't let me be alone. And I'm just going to take my fingers and massage it. Now I'm going to take some in my hands and just spread it throughout my curls. Looks decent. I mean the oil is not a thick oil like my personal oil because I have like castor oil and jojoba oil. It's really light. It's not super thick. So that's probably something I can use almost on a daily basis without over oiling my hair. So next I'm really excited about this product. This is the... Um, Hair Infinity Infinite Edge Serum. You guys know we need to grow them edges back. So I'm going to try this guy out. And it's in this cute little tube here. So you just twist the silver top off. And you just kind of pump it. I believe, yeah. I think you just pump it. And the packaging is a little weird on this guy. I wish it was just more of something you can just dip your fingers in and kind of rub into your hair because it's really weird. And I have to keep pumping and pumping for me to actually see the product come out so I can know that I'm applying some on there. But I did apply some on there. So the next two products are products that I typically use anyways, which is the, Jama is the Black Jamaican Castor Oil Moisture and Growth Leave In Deep Conditioner. And it comes in this packet, which is like a dollar or something. I'm not sure if it comes in a bottle. Please let me know if it does, if you guys use this. And I usually use this on my hair and Zoe hair, and it's a leave-in conditioner. So I'm just going to apply this to the hair. I love the smell of this conditioner. Making sure I'm getting it on my fingertips and then going in to the root of my hair. And as I do, I kind of bring my hair out and stretch it out a little um, just making sure I capture every strand and everything, just getting it all moisturized. The last product I'm going to use is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is the Growth and Restore Style, ugh, the Growth and Restore Styling Lotion. I've always used this product. I love this product. I love this line from Shea Moisture because um, the Black Castor Oil helps my hair grow. And I love just the results I get from using this product. And I use it on Zoe's hair also. And it smells nice. The formula is really nice. It's perfect. It's not too heavy, not too thin. And I just love how it's been making my hair. So this is probably why my hair has gotten thicker over the past couple of months. So I'm just going to apply this to my hair. And normally once I finish doing that is when I will separate my hair into two parts. I will twist one side up. And I will go in and detangle my hair. and then we'll go ahead and wrap our hair for the morning. Okay guys, so I have my like Felicia braids going on here. Um, my plaits are done and as you can see, it's already starting to shrink. That means they're kind of starting to dry. 
once they start to shrink up they'll get a lot shorter than this so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap my hair and I'll see you guys in the morning when I'll take it down so we can see it how the products worked on my hair if my hair looks a little different and I'll try to wear my hair out tomorrow just to see how it maintains throughout the day tomorrow so I'll see you guys in the morning okay guys so it's literally been like two days since I did the wash and everything I was gonna come back the next day but my hair was still wet um, in between the plaits so this is what it looks like once it's fully dried um, it did shrink a little bit but it's still pretty long I'm really surprised usually they're like this big um, after I wash it and I just did my makeup so I will link this video in this video once I post the makeup look but I was going to take my hair down and I forgot I have to film this for you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and take down all six of the plaits and then try to style my hair and see how if my hair is any different than what it normally is um, versus just uh, you know just being all crazy let's just see how it feels <laughs> So I tried to style my hair as best as I can because I'm not used to wearing my natural hair out. So I just did this high like puff thing. But I think it looks good. Um, see my little thin edges, but it's fine. But you can see all the waves and the curls. I didn't really comb it out. I just kind of like gathered it into this puff. I typically don't wear my hair out and when I do, I kind of put it like in a puff or something but and that's literally just to go do something really fast but I don't typically wear my hair out but it looks really good and I am very surprised that my curls feel a little bit softer than it normally does when I um, wash my hair with my normal um, hair care routine I'm just gonna go through the products and tell you guys like basically how I feel about each one even though it was my first time using it and I haven't used it since you know I only use it a few times so the first one I'm going to talk about is the balanced moisture conditioner um the fragrance fragrance on this guy was not super intense it was really nice and mild it's basically the consistency of a regular conditioner I really enjoyed it um I liked how it was it made my hair a little bit easier to comb out because you guys saw I had to comb my hair out three times I don't know if I recorded the last time but I did comb out my hair three times that's just the texture of my hair my ends get really really tangled that, um so I did enjoy this guy I didn't have any issues with this on the strengthening mask um this this fragrance on this guy was really strong so if you don't like too much like you know smelly things like that for your hair you may not enjoy this one as much because the smell is a little bit intense but it's really nice it's really thick um just like a mask is supposed to be for your hair um it's thicker than the conditioner but at the same time they could be about the same so so i'm kind of like maybe that's one of those stuff where i can just not really do as much um the oil the nourishing um oil was really really nice it's really light so it doesn't make your hair super super oily so my hair is very moisturized but it's not overly oily like sometimes they can get so this one was is made a lot lighter and I like the application of it just using the little squeezy thing I don't even know what you guys call that this little thing um to apply it directly to the scalp and massage it in um for the edge um the infinite edge serum Okay, so I'm really hopeful for this product. I'm hoping this product is really going to give me what I'm looking for. I hate, absolutely hate the packaging that it comes in. Only because it makes it really difficult. I don't know if it's just the one that I have. Um, if you've used this before, let me know because I have to keep clicking the thing just to get a little drop out of it it's very annoying i wish it was just in like something like this or just a bottle i mean just a 
container where I can just scoop and put it to my edges. So I don't even know if I'm applying it correctly because it just says apply to hairline as needed. It doesn't say how, whatever, whatever. I have been using this twice a day and you can see you don't really get a ton of product in there. This is where the product is. So you don't really get a ton and I have been clicking away at this thing so I don't even know if I've been using a lot of it. It's just really annoying but overall the actual like you know the idea of it's really nice it's clear it doesn't like give you any like crispy edges any flakes or anything like that you can apply it still style your hair and go about your day so that's one thing i like i mean the brush it's kind of cool i just don't really care for this packaging so those are the products that i have from hair infinity i'm going to come back in like a month and do another review for you guys to let you guys see did my hair grow any while taking the pills and using the product has things changed how do i feel about any of the products since then and i'll let you guys know how i feel about it so if you use any of their products besides the pills because i've used the pills before please let me know let me know what your thoughts are on them um also and yeah so don't forget to subscribe if you are a new subscriber and give me a like if you like this video and yeah leave a comment down below it don't even have to be about hair infinity i don't care just say hi um down below and i'll talk to you guys later bye guys <laughs>